First game I'm going to talk about today is a game called Full Blast. Now, this was a game I found out about through my buddy CeeLo, who, shout out to CeeLo, he always shows up to all my live streams. Uh, he told me about this game and uh, the company Red Art Games. He sent me a link. And uh, they have limited release games for like Switch, PS4, Vita. Um, you know, I'd never even heard of them before. I guess they're somewhere in Europe. I ordered this game. It was like 30, 35 bucks shipped with taxes and fees and everything. And it got to me in about two weeks. So, you know, you think about that. Two weeks might sound like a long time, but, you know, you look at companies like Limited Run Games where, I mean, Cosmic Star Hair, when that took me the better part of a year to get to me. So I just want to say this. Full Blast is not the greatest shoot 'em up but I am such, if you guys watch my channel, I'm such a huge fan of the genre. You know, I find a game like this that seems kind of obscure, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go after it. But guys, check out the site, Red Art Games. I mean, not all the games are great on that site. You know, they don't have like the, the best games that they made over to physical, but they have some decent stuff and it might be something that you want on there. So check the site out, Red Art Games. Uh, and I'm not showing shit, I'm just saying it's something new I found out about. Uh, so here's the game itself. And I'm disappointed that it came loose in the case like that. Now, I had a copy of Darius Burris Chronicle Saviors that came loose in the case like that, and it only worked on one out of five PS4s that I tried it on. I don't know if it's a coincidence. I don't know if it's because the game was rattling around. I don't know if the data on the disc is corrupt. I don't know, but, you know, I had issues with that game. Fortunately for me, I had no issues with this game, so... This is not the greatest shooter, but it is physical, and when it's obscure and physical and not, you know, $100, you know, I tend to go after it. Anyway, this is Full Blast on the PlayStation 4. Japan Post. I don't know. I think this is Death Smiles 2. It is Death Smiles 2. This is Death Smiles 2 for the Xbox 360. <laughs> anyway, this game was, uh, you know, like when you're up late at night, and you're like just looking on eBay. This is an eBay purchase. And you see something that's like really, really, really cheap. And then you might go to, you might sort by when listed. And it's like the first thing at the top of the list. Well, this was one of those things. And it was like 15 bucks shipped from Japan. So I've, I've been wanting this game for a while now. I still haven't played it at this point. But I've been so busy I haven't had time to. I will get into this game soon. I'll probably live stream it and maybe do a review on this game. It's a cave game. Uh, horizontal scrolling shooter. It's weird how here in the U.S. and I'm in the United States. I'm in, in Maryland, right? We got cave games, but they were only horizontal scrolling shooters. I don't understand why we didn't get any of the Dodon Pachi, any of the Epscaluda. We didn't get any of the the Mushi Mushi Pork, the Pink Sweets, the Ibarra. We didn't get any of that. We didn't get. We got the horizontal stuff though. We got the uh, Ike Katana, which is a pretty cool game. Um, and Death Smiles. And we didn't get Death Smiles too. Or I guess we did, but it was just digital. But I don't know. Or we got a digital copy, you know, here in the U.S. But anyway, this is my copy of Death Smiles. It came with a manual. And it came with this stuff. I, hopefully that's not a download code or something I'm showing you right now. But oh well. I guess there's like art cards or something in this little card pack. That's pretty cool for 15 bucks, and the stuff's still in there. You know, the, you know, when you order from Japan, you got more of a likelihood of something like this actually being in the case than you do here in the U.S. where the consumers really don't care about their um, stuff as much. I don't know. I notice everything I get from Japan is in better shape, though. Um, so, yeah, there's the manual, the art card, and the game, and it's, it's pretty cool for, like, 15 bucks shipped. So that's Death Smiles 2 for the Microsoft Xbox 360. Okay, guys, so let me tell you about this game. This game's really cool. This is Kill La Kill, a game based on an anime. Now, the way I got this game is I walked into a GameStop and saw this on the shelf. The cover looked cool, and I saw that Arc System Works logo on the box. Did a little bit of research. Come to find out this is an arena fighting game based on an anime series. I don't want to show any gameplay footage of this on the screen because I don't want a copyright strike, and I don't know because it's like an anime how they'll you know act with that. So, I, you know, just... Check it out. Do some searches on some YouTube videos. Um, let me just say this. This is a $60 game. Now, you're probably, from what I've played and what I've heard about this, you only get maybe six or seven hours worth of content out of this game. But I'm cool with that. I'm a busy guy. I'll pay $60 for six hours of awesome content. I'm cool with that. But if you want more value for your money, maybe this game isn't for you. But let me just say this. The combat engine in this game is top notch, you know. 
I'll fucks with it. So you might want to get this game. Plus, it's like one of those games that like every GameStop got like one copy of. And this copy was technically open, and they sold it to me as new. But I really did want to play it, and I didn't, you know. God, I hate when they do that shit. <sighs> anyway, this is Kill La Kill IF the game for the Nintendo Switch. Here we have Dusk Diver on the Nintendo Switch. And this was a game I saw at GameStop. I was actually with my kid. We were walking by in the mall. And it was the day they, or the weekend they had the buy two, get two free sale. Didn't find anything or take advantage of that sale at all. But I did see this. It was 50 bucks, and it just looked interesting. Picked the case up, saw the screenshots on the back, whipped my phone out, and saw that it's an action RPG with a social leveling system very similar to Persona. Now, I have sunk about six hours into this game so far, and... I have to say it's pretty decent, although there's no English voice acting, unfortunately. But, you know, once you start reading the subtitles a little bit, it really doesn't bother you. Anyway, this collector's edition, as you can see, comes with an art book, which is cool. It does have a pin set, which is cool, but it's not cool that it doesn't have a soundtrack. And I really hope the soundtrack to this game isn't rocking, because then I can't play it in my car. I guess I could play it on YouTube. But, you know, I can't use that CD and rip it to Windows Media Player and you use the soundtrack and videos if it's really good. So that does kind of suck. But, you know, at least it's not just a game. At least they tried to give us something, somewhat of a collector's edition. But I guess this is a day one edition. What is a day one edition? I see day one edition is that it's just like the game. And I guess a day one edition is just a game normally with no DLC. I don't know. So we're going to see what's inside of this case. And just a little, little 411. There's nothing in there. This case is barren, other than the game. I mean, look at that. Terrible. It's really like those Bloodstained games, like Bloodstained uh, Ritual of the Night. The case was just like that. Nothing in there. Anyway, that is Dusk Diver on the Nintendo Switch. So what's up, guys? Let's talk about what went on. I guess this week in video games, let's touch base with you guys. Let's talk about, first of all, the Mike Bate tweet, which like every YouTuber is like talking about. And made Dreamcast guy made a whole video about it, right? So the dude posts on Twitter about, you know, what you can't really beat a video game unless you beat it with no cheat codes and a rewind feature, right? I get it. The dude's a game grinder, and that's how he plays video games. So maybe there should be two definitions. You finish a video game, and you beat a video game. You know, I use cheat codes and shit all the time. So, you know, I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you, you know. Like, I grind sometimes on some of those shooters, but for some stuff I'm just trying to get to the end of. Yeah, I'll use cheat codes, but, you know, that's just me. You know, some people feel differently in the community, and I definitely understand and respect that. Uh, let's see. Y'all Hancock, he's, he's chugging along. He's putting out videos, right? Dude's got, you know, comments heavily monitored, right? He's got the likes and dislikes disabled. Yeah, you guys ever hear, I, I'm trying to think of the right way to word this, like, you ever, like, uh, worked with a guy, like, maybe you've done some landscaping before, and maybe you worked with, like, some work release guys or something, just some of the scenarios I've been in in life, right? And you ever heard, like, man, that dude's got that retard strength, right? Well, <laughs> I'm not saying Hancock's got the retard strength, but what I am saying, is he's got that look in his face, dude. And when he whips out the crazy, man, that, it's going to get crazy, right? But, uh, you know, one thing I'm seeing, man, and I'm, I love seeing this going into 2020. We're seeing a lot of independent, you know, creators with i want to say like 5,000 or not even 5,000 i'm going to say 2,000 or less subscribers like smaller channels i mean they're they're pumping out content and it, it's pretty good and it seems like you know youtube as a whole is is really starting to come together at the end of 2019 and you know i love it and you know i'm meeting more and more awesome people by the day so you know expect a lot more content out of me going into 2020 when work it's already starting to slow down for me um, so I'll be able to focus more on, you know, some of these shooters I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of Dojin shooters and there, there's some that are really, really cool. I want to share them with you guys and, you know, show you where you can download them and stuff like that. Um, and you know, one other thing on the way home from work today, just randomly, I got a game from a guy. It's, it's a game I planned on getting from him for like the past couple weeks, but you know, he just, he crossed paths with me on my way home from work, but got twinkle star sprites on the dreamcast. So. I might live stream that tonight, you know, if I post this video before I do that live stream. Or I might, li might not live stream at all. I don't know. Anyways, till next time, guys. Peace out.